Welcome to this episode of White Paper Podcast. My name is Damilo Atwembo. I'm the host of the White Paper Podcast and the creator of the White Paper Wisdom Movement. And I'm ever so excited to read your comments, your testimonies, your reviews. So I want to say a big thank you to you if you've ever shared any of the episodes, maybe on social media or on YouTube, whatever platform. Thank you for listening on Apple Podcasts. Thank you for listening on um, all the different streaming platforms. So, so grateful. Today is going to be amazing. I've got a special guest in the house. She is really remarkable. I'll tell you about her right after this break. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so today I'm super excited because my guest is pretty much a big sister. You know all those people that knew you when you were a little boy. <laughs> Our families have been connected for literally decades. And um, beyond the family relationships, um, she is intelligent, she is smart, she is articulate. She has a very profound story of grace of redemption of restoration of healing we're going to talk so much about the soul and moving on and growth and detoxing and all those amazing things today she's an author she's a mother she's a life coach ladies and gentlemen celebrate the award-winning world-class renowned <laughs> best-selling highly booked <laughs> none other than the person i'm calling cjg <laughs> Coach Jola Grace, Chief Justice General, Cash Generating Gold Mine. Come on now. <laughs> I like that. It is good to have you, Thank you. on Thank the Wiper Podcast today. So Thank much. you so much for making our time. I don't take it for granted. I know that we've been in active conversation for a couple yeah. of years and we've known for decades. Well, you've mm. known me longer than I've known you. Yeah. Based on our family yeah, don't, don't history, you. right? But... I know that you're very busy. Um, you, you have clients in different parts of the world. You've been on a tour of sorts in yeah. Nigeria for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So thank you for squeezing me into your very busy thank schedule. Thank you for having me. I'm thank so you grateful. For me. It's a pleasure. Yes, ma'am. So today we're going to be talking about the soul mm -hmm. um, because that's becoming an increasing uh, it's becoming increasing, increasingly important to mm -hmm. address that. Yeah. Right, particularly where we are, you know, as Africans, mm. a lot is said about the spirit realm, superstition, mm. yeah. you know, Madame Koi Koi, you know, an angel that appeared to somebody. I'm not saying that, they, that those yeah. things don't have validity, but exactly. I'm saying things we put in context. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll talk about that. But before I talk about that, can you just give us like a brief extract mm. of your journey so far? How have you become this woman, the soul doctor? <laughs> Right. Have you become this woman who's helping people get through mm. heartbreak, get through abusive relationships, get through um, exposure to hostility? And in some mm. cases, not just about those who have been, as it were, damaged or fractured. It's also those who are healthy who are looking to navigate. Mm. So just let's meet you. Wow. Beyond okay. the accolades. Thank you very much for the accolades. No pictures, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. We already have a lot of pictures. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for, for having me again, like I said. And uh, it's it's a joy being here. Yes, ma'am. Um, it's a joy knowing you from that long, the family relationship and everything. Um, it's, it's a blessing. You know, uh, we were talking about our heritage mm. earlier on that, um, you know, the, the best heritage that parents can give to their children is the heritage of faith yes you know um not just what we tell the children to do but what the children see us doing mm -hmm. what we see being done practically every day that's now become a habit right and then speaks for us in at those times where you are as a crossroad and you're confused mm. the heritage of faith so it's really a blessing it's really a blessing Ah, briefly, you want me to share briefly <laughs> about because I'm like, how yeah. long do you have? Yeah, you know? we have um, hours and hours. <laughs> let me just say, um, from from now, from right now, mm. um, I'm popularly referred to as a soul doctor, mm. and like you rightly said, my name is Jola Grace Emmanuel, and I love to say I am passionate about the health and the healing of the soul, mm. and that's because um, mine is a tripartite being. You have a spiritual, have a soul. You live in a body. body. And 
the prosperity of your soul is the foundation of the prosperity of every other area of your life. Mm. Okay. I'm a person of faith, so I would refer to the Bible. Third John 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul so, prospers. Mm. So if I say to you, uh, P. Dams, dance as I'm dancing. Okay, dance. Okay, P. Dams, dance as I'm dancing. Uh, dance as I'm dancing. You're not dancing. So. I'm not dancing, so you have no point of reference. Wow. Okay. Mm. So when the Bible says, I wish above all things I prosper and be in good health, even us. Mm. your soul is prospering mm. so that means the prosperity of other areas of your life okay is going to mimic the prosperity mm. of your soul mm. and remember your soul consists of your will your mind and your emotions, emotions mm. right so if something is wrong with your soul if you're hurting in your soul mm. if your soul is weak if your soul is depressed if your mm. soul is down mm. it will automatically affect other areas of your life yeah. i.e your body and your spirit mm. And, you know, oftentimes when I say this, people are like, no, your soul can't be that important. It's your spirit. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nothing. Your spirit is perfect, you yeah. know, because your spirit is the spirit of God. Yeah. You know, it's but as long as you are here in this world, mm. your soul is important. Mm. OK, because a lot of the challenges that people go through, they try to. Uh, so it's just like you wanting to take paracetamol for something that you're supposed to take antibiotics for. Mm. It's not really going to work, mm. right? It's just like you're stalling, right. you know? And so a lot of times the issues that people have, they're dealing with mm. is in the realm of their soul. Mm. But they're trying mm. to use spiritual means yeah. to, to deal with it. Um, and also, oftentimes I've met clients, I've met people who are trying to, because the first thing I ask you if you sit in front of me as one of my clients is, how are you feeling? Mm. How do you feel about what has happened? What are mm. your emotions? Talk to me about it. And I've had people say to me, oh, I don't have emotions. I'm okay. If somebody said to me, no, my emotions, uh, they died long time ago. I don't have emotions. I'm not feeling nothing. Wow. And I'm like, okay. Mm. Um, the truth is, every human being, have you ever met anybody who does who has never had a physical injury? Like mm. from when you were born to mm. right now as an adult, you've never f had mm. a fall. You've never had a cut. Nothing as that. We don't have any scar on your body. You are just, your skin is flawless. Mm. No scar because mm. you've never had a physical no, accident. Must be something, abrasion or cut or something. Exactly. Especially as a child, you're running around, something happened, you know. Because you're a human being, at yeah. one point in time in your life, you will have a physical injury. Yes. It's the same thing as your soul. Mm. You will have a physical, uh, no, you have a, an emotional wound mm. at some point in your life. Somebody mm. will disappoint you. Somebody mm. will betray you. Mm. You know, something will happen. You will fail. You will lose something. Something will happen that mm. will affect your soul. Mm. And so it is important that you acknowledge that that thing has happened and you begin yeah. to seek help. Yeah. So for me, I, 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 I metamorphosed into what I'm doing mm. because it was a process. I didn't just become it mm. because of the personal experiences I had. Yeah. Right. I went through 16 years of domestic violence and abuse. Wow. And in that 16 years, it was every kind of abuse that you can think of. Mm. And, Oftentimes, people, when people hear oh, domestic violence and abuse, they just automatically think, oh, um, the person is slapping, he's in, you're kicking you. Um, that is just one part of That's physical, this right? physical yeah. abuse. You have verbal abuse, mm. you have emotional abuse, you mm. have psychological abuse, mm. you have financial abuse, wow. you have sexual abuse. Yes, even in marriage. Mm. So, you have sexual every, abuse in marriage. Oh, yes, mm. yes, yes. Um, maybe we'll touch on this if you want us to but yes okay. you have sexual abuse in marriage so every kind of that you know i experienced every kind of abuse and it got me to a place where i despaired of my own life wow. where i was suicidal mm. where i attempted suicide mm. because the pain in my soul was too much mm. and i felt i can't bear this again you know um and i also felt i didn't have a choice and uh. I felt, okay, an altar of sacrifice, you know, this is Isaac, mm. you know, just, wow. just end, just die. There's nothing else. Mm. Uh, this is, this is it, mm. you know, again, because of some of the things that we've been told mm. that that is it. It's like, once you enter into yeah. marriage, whether, and it becomes like this, yeah. you have entered one chance. That's, that's just it. expression, we died here, that some people have, 
Yeah. Why do you want to die there mm. when you are not Jesus? Jesus Christ mm. has already died. Mm. You know, for the world, for yeah. the church, for everybody. Yeah. Why why do you think do you think God sent you to the world to die somewhere? Mm. Do you think God just said I'll make you go to the world and then die <laughs> for something? Wow. Do, do you think that's why he Respect created you? It. You know, so, so sometimes my 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 mentor used to say that the covenant of life is superior to the covenant of marriage. Marriage, marriage mm. is a beautiful thing. Mm. Oh, marriage is sweet, right? However, oh, if, we, if I start going there, I'll <laughs> keep derailing because the Bible says two are better than one. Yeah, for they have a good reward for their labor. labor. Again, it's just that that scripture is talking about every kind of relationship, not just yeah. marital relationship, but mm. now in the context of marital relationship, you must look at your life and see if my life is better mm. because I'm married, or if my life is worse because mm. I'm married. Mm. One which is a thousand, two which is ten thousand. Before I got married, how many was I chasing? Mm. Now that I'm married, what am I chasing? Or what's chasing me? Or what is chasing me? Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you, you can get to a point that mm. you're not even chasing yeah, your one thousand yeah, again. Yeah. Now one they are chasing you. You are not being chased, mm. you know. And so it is. It is important, mm. right? Um, that we begin to understand these things and be objective mm. because sometimes our religious mindset yes you know is destroying us and destroying our ability to fulfill our purpose wow wow sorry <laughs> okay so, so, since you, so since you went in that direction i was waiting for you to just continue because you've already touched on a lot of minds that are about to go off mm-hmm. but i think it's important mm-hmm. since with having this conversation you went in that direction domestic abuse for 16 years that's a long time it is chances are that some people are watching right now are mm-hmm. about 16 years chances yep. are um but i guess that's a good thing because then people can learn and say oh what mm-hmm. do i need to look out for and all whatnot so let's try to unpack that I've seen certain things on social media, mm. right? Like almost every time somebody dies mm. due to domestic uh, assault or uh, violence yeah. in, in the home f- uh, circle. And some people will be like, what was she doing there? How can you be there for that long? <laughs> what happened to you? This one, that one, that one, you know, and mm. all. And something like, you don't know the story and you don't know why that person was there. And there was a question I asked somebody one day. I said, the way you're going on and on and on about this, if this lady says to you, I want to move into your house today, would you be prepared to take her into your home? Mm. And person, ah, no, no, no. I said, okay, what were the reasons? Mm. Or oh, X, Y, Z, this one, that one. I said, okay, so you say, you have reasons for not doing what you think <laughs> is right. right. Mm. And all of a sudden, you want to discount the reason uh, right. that this person decided to stay there. Now, I'm not va- validating staying in that kind of toxic mm. environment, but mm-hmm. because you've been through it, and I know you've healed through it, right? I believe that you have the wisdom and the perspective to speak into that. Mm. Why do you think certain persons remain in certain relationships? Mm. And part of the chance we're having these days is not even about marriage. You see people that maybe like dating or courting. Oh, Yes three years four years for this guy is slapping you up and down mm. this guy is kicking you mm. the people who have had abortions for people that will never marry them yeah. and they're like oh i love him i don't have a choice please could you speak to us let's understand um why people do that and what that kind of person needs to do okay thank you very much let me just even pick up from the last thing you said i don't have a choice that's mm. a fallacy mm. i was still telling someone this morning i said look erase from your mind i don't have a choice mm. it's it's a lie mm. you've just not thought of your options mm. there are always options. options you might not see it now but just pause and tell yourself i have an option mm. what are the options there are always options yeah and when you think about options i don't want to cut you yeah. but when i think about options also think about options mm. as in up T I O N S. Mm, 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 As in mm. which of the options can take me up and out of this? Absolutely. Because that's what you want to do anyway. Right. So there's a fallacy that people don't have options. You're you're telling somebody that this Yes, see, and I'm and I was saying that you have options, mm. right? So just think of the options. So in answering your questions, mm. right? Um, a lot of times, first of all, people and you know, I'll talk from my own practical from my own practical experience. 
right? People don't understand who somebody is before they get married to the person. Mm. Oftentimes we say, oh, that person has changed. I can't mm. believe she changed. I can't believe he changed. Because also, let me quickly say that domestic violence and abuse is not gender biased. Mm. It is totally not gender biased because there are women who are abusing yeah. men. Please say that Abs- again. No, no, no. There are women who are abusing men. One report I stumbled on a while ago actually says that one third of cases are women assaulting men. Yes. One out of three. And sadly, and you know, there was a time I did I did a series on on my show, and I said men. The t- it was tagged men also cry, mm. because I I my heart goes out to men because the society has put so much <sighs> pressure on the men. Oh, boys don't cry. You know, mm. you have children, you have a, a male child and a female child and both of them are playing mm. and they both fall and trip. <laughs> and then the, the lady, the girl comes to you, mommy, mommy, my leg. And then you say, oh, sorry, my baby. And then the boy does wow. the same thing. Mom, I said, stop it. Stop, stop crying. Wow. Don't you think you're a boy? Don't wow. you know you're a man? B- big wow. boys don't cry. Why? Mm. They both of them are, in fact, they might be twins, one boy, one girl. Mm. Both of them are human beings. They yeah. both felt that Pain. Pain. Why are you making the boy to suppress his own and the girl to express her own? Mm. And we are killing our men. And I even mean that literally wow. because we are not allowing them to express their emotions. Okay, so I'm a Christian. Let mm. us go and check the Bible. Mm. Jesus Christ wept. Oh, come on. That's good. Let us go and check when he was on guesty money yeah. and he was going to go through what he was going through. He was in pain. He was mm. in anguish. Mm. He called his three bodies. He says, my soul is despaired mm. even to death. Yeah. A translation call, say, another translation says that he was depressed at that mm. point in time. He was sad mm. because of what he was about to do and mm. he expressed it to his friends mm. so why don't we allow our oh. men to ex- express themselves and because of this stigma the men who are in abusive relationships can't come they and can, say they can't talk. excuse me <laughs> <laughs> i'm experiencing I, abuse i don't even think i've ever seen any um declaration by a man that has been abused as in domestically or well publicly or I seen. no I, but in public definitely yeah, yeah definitely, that's what i'm saying like you know but, but, but i mean i'm happy that i, I have male clients mm. you know who are coming to say oh mm. this is what happened and you know the dynamics is, dynamics is different yeah but one thing i always allow them to know and to be is that your emotions are valid mm. it's okay you're feeling the way you're feeling right because we are all emotional beings yeah a, a, a man's blood is not different from a woman's blood. Hmm. But I'm not a scientist, but I'm just hmm. thinking that if you take a male blood yeah. and a female blood and say, let's take it to the lab and test hmm. it, this one is stronger is blood, or this right. one is weaker. I think, I will think that the blood will be the same thing. They hmm. will have the same components. Hmm. So why do we think that it should be one uh, w- one measure for this one, another measure different for this one? Way. So yes, I, was, I said that to say that Domestic violence it's and abuse gen- is not gender yeah. biased. Mm-hmm. And also, it, it can even happen between siblings. Yeah, It can happen between relatives. Mm. It can happen between friends. Mm. It can happen in workplaces. Mm. Any kind of relationship that you are in, that the other person makes you feel less than you are. Mm. That they make you feel as if they are doing you a favor by relating with you. That you keep being in that relationship and your self-worth and your self-esteem is gradually diminishing mm. onto a point where you don't even believe that you have any worth or any esteem or mm. you feel less than yourself. Mm. It's a toxic relationship. Yeah. Right? So why do people stay? Yeah. So I'm coming to that. Now, people need to understand, right? So physical abuse is not the only kind of abuse. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are, are saying okay well if he's hitting you get out you know so that doesn't kill you and all of that Mm, mm. but that that is not just the only in fact emotional and psychological abuse is worse wow because they're deeper right you can't see them guard your heart with all All diligence diligence. for out of it comes the issues Mm. of life Mm. issues of life as a man thinks in his heart so so is is he. he Your ears and your eyes are the gateway to your soul, soul, right? So what you hear constantly, right? We enter into your soul, Mm. enter into your subconscious, and you will be that thing. Mm. So if you're in a relationship and somebody looks at you every time and say, you're so stupid, you're so foolish, you're dumb, you're useless. Wow. 
is entering mm. into your mind and you will start thinking about it. Wow. And eventually you will become it. Believe it. Because that's what you keep so hearing. So you hear it, you think about it, then you believe it and then begin to embody it. Embody become it. it. Absolutely. Wow. Right. So people often don't understand that it's a journey, even mm. the, the abuser. And I, I did a research one, one time on abusers because why do they do what they do? Yeah. But the abusers, the abuser realizes that I need to work on the mind of my victim before I can hmm. abuse the victim. Hmm. Because, I mean, p if you're going on the road and somebody comes and kicks you, you're not just going to walk past like nothing <laughs> happened. You know, you might not turn to fury and, <laughs> <laughs> and frank. Right. You know, and like, okay, let's, let's sort this out Dig right here out. now. <laughs> you know, but you will pause and you'll be like, What's what was that on? for? Yeah. You know, what, what happened? Is it that, you know, you will challenge the situation. Yeah. So why do you think one human being will slap another human being, will mm. hit another human being, will tell another human being, sit down I there, see. don't stand up, I I will, and saying. then that human being will succumb, I see will what not you're fight saying. back, wow. will not say anything, will just allow all of that to happen? Mm. Do you think that is normal? Mm. That is not normal, mm. right? I remember about two or, two or three years ago now when Osinachi passed, and people mm. were saying all sorts. You know, I don't often get angry on online but that point in time i was angry online wow. i was like i'm angry guys i'm angry and i'll tell you why because people were blaming her yeah never blame ever the blame the victim don't do it and i even that i had a lot of i have a lot Excuse of me. family <coughs> family members come and say oh our family this person is facing this we've told him to leave we told us to leave they don't want to and i'm like be patient with them mm. right because number one you need to realize that the the the, the perpetrator first of all works on the mind of that victim right to make them believe that their dependency is on them right i'm the only one who loves you mm. i'm the only one who cares about you mm. you see that your dad or that your mom or that your friend or that your sister they don't really care about you wow and because they they, they have a level of intelligence mm. they would then take events that has happened so mm. maybe it was to your birthday the point. yeah and somebody forgot and to call your, you. your mom didn't call you on time <laughs> and they <laughs> probably called you in the evening or say, see, see i told you wow I, if she actually loved you like you think she does she will have called <laughs> you first thing in the morning so that's manipulation they have manipulation to manipulate. they will manipulate you and wow. they will start gaslighting you wow gaslighting is evil hmm because it can now that i there was someone i was i was relating with and this person was in a toxic relationship and the perpetrator will, will you know this 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 book is here okay so the victim comes and comes back from work and leaves her book here perpetrator comes and takes the book and puts it here and then the victim comes and says, oh darling did you see my book um, i just left it here no you didn't if you wow. left it there, it will be there. Oh my wow. goodness! But I thought I left it here, and then we look around. We go, wow. "Oh, is this not your book?" Oh my goodness! Oh, I thought I left it there. Well, I told you. I told you that you're losing your mind. I don't know what you're wow. getting into. What you're doing? You, you seem to be forgetful. You know something is, and that oh, is repeated wow. over time, right? Until the person, uh, this person was telling the victim that you you have mental issues. You have wow. you are, you have degenerating into a psychotic state wow. and you need to go to psychiatric hospital which eventually happened and there was nothing wrong with this woman wow because of gaslighting wow right so the perpetrator are so worked on the mind of the victim wow right it doesn't matter what anybody else outside is saying it's mind conditioning hmm. their mind has been conditioned to the fact that i cannot have a life outside, outside of, of this, this space person. This, this defines this, me. This person is my savior. This mm. person is my all. Mm. This person is the only one that loves me. Mm. This person is the only one that truly cares for me. This person mm. wants my best interest. You know, they will tell you wow. I have your best interest at heart. They will finish beating you up and tell you it's because I love you that I'm beating you. In wow. fact, the Bible says God corrects the child. You know, that's why I'm correcting you. Wow. And in that and moment of vulnerability, if, if that message is magnified. It is magnified. And then the victim absorbs that and sees it Ab as their truth. Absolutely. Like I'm saying, they're amazing. The author, the singer, the mentor. Please put your hand together for B-Dams as he comes to share with us how we all suck up.
I'm just going to share a couple of stories. So please quickly pick up your, your phones, go to Instagram. Are you on Instagram already? All right, just go to this place and click it. The plus at the then slide. You're going to see stories. <laughs> Some people still didn't get it. But we know say God now, Papa, and we have the right genes in us. What do you You are very rude. You see somebody that wrote something about gay? That's when they will not be put. Take your picture and go. It's not a. Because I promise you that everything you touch is fast. Every beat you're on is a banger. Because every word I speak is Rema. Another. Love is the tango of consonants and dissonance dancing to the symphonies of life set to be in harmony. As you just called on strike recently, recently, some young girls are not going back to school the same. Some of them are going back to school pregnant. And I waste over the study anatomy if you see anatomy. Hey! Good evening, P Dams. Good evening, Pastor Told You. I've laughed. I hope I've not thrown my voice away. <laughs> So over time, right, it's like there was there was an experiment done on a dog. Hmm. The dog was tied, a chain was put around the dog and tied to a stake, and they put the dog's food about an inch away from the <laughs> length of where the dog can reach the food. Hmm. So the dog, of course, hungry, tries every day to get the food. Oh, oh, I can't. It's only an inch. Choking. I can't get the food. Hmm. Choking, the dog stays. The dog keeps trying. After a few days, the dog stops trying because the dog is like, wow. it doesn't matter, I can't get this food. Hmm. Okay. Now they come and they take the chain off the dog's neck. And the same thing still. The dog will still not try and get the food. Wow. There was no chain. So the chain was now internal. There was no chain. But the dog will still not try to get the food and the dog died of hmm. hunger. Say, could you like this thing you're saying? Because I want it to land. Please land. Because I really want to know. Because... As you're saying this, I'm just thinking about Nigeria and why people keep <laughs> choosing certain kinds of people. Mm, mm. It's, it's the same thing on a magnified level. Yeah. You know, someone said to me many years ago, he said that a lot of Africans and Nigerians are traumatized. They're oh, living yes. out of trauma. Yeah, yes. Right. True. So I think we'll talk about that. So true. basically what you're saying is that for those people who are in relationships, and this could be one-to-one -one romantic mm -hmm. or platonic yeah it could also be like a church relationship oh yes it could also be work as it well the work. people that are working for abusive bosses or in toxic environments where they're literally being used and their lifeblood is being drained Absolutely. but they're still like eh, let's just go and work let's just go and and maybe they even have some health challenges and things like that sure. that the idea is the mind has been affected mm. so if someone is in that space right now, and I'm sure some people are watching right now, they're mm. in that space, and they're like, okay, so this is what's happening to me. Mm. Is this what's happening to me? What can that person do? That's one. Now, how about if you're not that person, but you can see all the telltale signs around that person, mm. how do you help such people? Okay, so let me start from the back. So, part of the things I first of all say, look, first of all, when this person comes to tell you, that this is what is happening to me. Please believe them. Mm. It's so important. Because the stories mm. that they will tell you mm. would not maybe, sound real. Maybe preposterous, right? Absolutely. So you might be tempted to just say, be, especially this crazy because writing. a lot of <laughs> it's a, it's a script. <laughs> a lot of mm. perpetrators mm. have bipolar disorder. Hmm. Right. Please, you need to break down all those terms. Yeah, Earlier on, <laughs> use gaslighting. I know what that is, but people might think you're talking about cooking, <laughs> as in gaslighting. Uh, uh, light, that use the gas, to light you know, the gas. They just cook the food. Because they don't know gas lighting now. <laughs> gas is expensive. <laughs> Maybe it's kerosene. It's kerosene, lighting. <laughs> kerosene, kerosene lighting. They can't even oh, do yeah. petrol lighting because the petrol is not light, oh it's heavy. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Right? And if it's heavy, it causes a dent, so it becomes heavy dent. Mm, 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 mm. That <laughs> don't leave me, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let, let, well, you spoke about gas lights and then it talks about bipolar. Can you please break it down and then, yeah? So, I mean, the, the way I described it, gas lighting is someone playing with your mind. I see, 
you know so is is that we can't even go and use the literal meaning of mm. gas and lighten you know mm. when you light you the light, gas is already there and you there, just spark you know, something you are you are you are making this person believe that they are not who they are mm. they are not what they are mm. okay but what you're doing is you're burning the person mm. you're burning the person unaware mm. you are opening up the gas wow you're not putting the fire there you're opening it up and then by the time you, you might you, you've ever, I, i'm sure if you've ever been had the story or even happened to you that you let you went to work you turned off the turn on the mm. gas there was no light mm. and you come back and there's Everywhere this park smelling. yeah oh boy no that's terrible god forbid so <laughs> sometimes these people something happens and there's this pack mm. and the whole house burns down mm. and you're like oh but this person is not like this mm. oh what happened so <sighs> they've been gaslit they've been gaslit mm. over time yeah you know so it's, it's mind manipulation i see now bipolar simply means you have two different personalities hmm. so let so i was saying that when when the vict- a victim comes to tell you believe them yeah. because most 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 mm. often than not if you have a relationship with the perpetrator it's be a different the best thing wow. since size bread wow oh you know you be like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, we we know her. She's she's so adorable, you wow. know. Oh, she's she's so courteous. Yeah, give oh, us your British so, now. Give you know, us your yeah, British accent. you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> she, she, she's not like that. Oh you know, she's 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 just, she's just all oh, good. Oh my goodness, don't say that about Catherine. Hmm. Oh no, Catherine is not like that. So it's a different. But to you, when you get home, Catherine will look at you, <laughs> and you call yourself a man. Wow. Is that what you, come on, get, get out of here. So that means what you're saying is that Catherine could even be like a super anointed prison worship leader. Oh my goodness, Catherine could be a geo for crying out loud. Wow. That you know, the moment Catherine steps in church, everybody's all around Catherine and they're like, Oh, Madam Catherine, oh, mm. you know, everybody's like, Oh but the moment Catherine comes back home, Catherine can even sit beside her husband in church and, and say to him, She's so foolish. Right after an anointed session. Oh yes. So there's Catherine, then there's Kat Stoney. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that cat, you know, whether it's lion, whether it's tiger, whether it's leopard, whether yeah, it's ocelot, it's, it's whether it's puma, it can even be whether all it's of panther. <laughs> it can a cat have of sort. But she's just basically Catherine is a catalyst of negativity. Absolutely. She has a catalog of bad, of bad yeah, behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, okay, yeah. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Mm, I need water. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you need water? Do you get water? Yeah. You know, I was just kidding. Okay. So yes. So bipolar is bipolar. bipolar. Mm-hmm. So we should believe people if so they say. So when the victim comes to tell you that, oh, she did this to me, he did this to me, you wow. are thinking of the person you, you know, know, and you're like, no, this person can't be like this. Hmm right and because this they, they constantly work on your mind. mind they are 10 steps ahead of you hmm. you know so they know that you probably have spoken to this person mm. in their mind they can recount the conversation you've had mm. and they use that to attack you mm. right so the fact that the victim even comes to talk to you is a big deal wow so if you don't believe them they just re, re, they, they retract, just retract recoil, back yeah. into their shell and they're like okay well Maybe truly something is wrong with me. Mm. Maybe truly I'm the one who has a problem. Mm. Maybe truly this one is because people don't believe them. Wow. Secondly, and that can be painful. Oh, yes. Because, I mean, you are just like adding salt to their injury. Mm. You know? Secondly, I say to people that be patient with the victims. Because, yes, maybe somebody, a family member has heard this and they're like, oh my goodness, I know this was happening. Mm. And then you go and tell them, you need to leave. And the person's like, mm, I don't uh, uh, but you know uh, just be patient because I've heard a lot of people come to me and say ah, well I've, I've I've, I'm, I'm done no, I'm not yeah. getting involved again yeah. because there's something called Stockholm Syndrome right yeah. you take the victim Jesus. away from the environment yeah. and then in like a week or so the victim goes back yes because all of those mind conditioning mm. oh you can't live without me mm. you can't do without me mm. you can't do this, this, this. Mm. you can't do this. and so they are back there which is mm. why I tell people that sometimes yes have an uh, exit plan and all of that but the most important thing is your healing Mm. your healing Mm. your wellness your soul Mm. because if you take any irrational decision Mm. and you are not 
okay here mm. you're going to fall back to where you're coming right from because you literally don't have that strength mm. you can't because you, you're already weak mm. right so be patient with them regardless of how long it takes of course the yeah. last thing that i also say that they should do is take laws into your own hands and i don't mean do something do something christy or yeah. commit a criminal offense but what i just mean is that sometimes right you might have to go and speak to somebody who you know can do stuff yeah you know because in our, in our own case you know some people say oh if i knew i'll have done this because <laughs> if you say oh i'm going to go and the, the victims are like, don't please don't tell yeah. this person please i uh, don't tell that person please don't tell it's okay we sort it i don't tell don't answer them that's that's what i mean by At taking laws point, into yeah, your own hand yeah. if you know that they are in danger there's a problem just say, okay i've heard but mm. you go ahead and speak to somebody mm. that you know can do something yeah you know maybe somebody <coughs> if you're in in places where you can speak to the police the authorities where they can help this person is in danger this is what is happening it's you know go and do that for them because at that point in time they don't have the capacity to do yeah, it to pull through by themselves strength. they mm. can't because they can't see their way out out yeah. of it which was something that happened in my own situ- in my own situation somebody who was like a mentor to me actually did that for me spoke to someone who could help me to mm. leave mm. you know because otherwise i didn't have the capacity to do that by myself yeah you know so sometimes it's something that you have to do you have to be patient with them believe them and if need be you know extract do, yeah extra- them exactly <laughs> extract them from there uh, speak to authorities do whatever it is you need to do to get them from that danger before it hmm. becomes too late wow this is very important and i think that a lot more people are going to need it as we as you know life evolves because mm. i feel like because a lot of people are unhealthy in their souls absolutely they are fractured within and then they are fracturing people who are without oh, yes. You mentioned Stockholm's, uh, Stockholm Syndrome earlier. I know a bit about it, so anything I miss out, you can fill it in. For those who might not know, mm-hmm. so the story is that a group of robbers got into a bank in Stockholm, mm-hmm. in the city, in mm-hmm. sc- Stockholm, and they held people hostage, and they were not letting them out or come in and all of that. Then the people that were captives of you, the robbers started yeah, falling in love yeah. with the people that captivated, captivated them. <laughs> And they still having emotional ties and bonds. And I think that's what happens a lot of abusive relationships where, you know, we touched on Nigeria. I might talk about it, even though that's not the, the primary thing. Mm-hmm. But I think that for people to know that the scope of this conversation applies to every area of life. Oh, yes. So you're going to find people in Nigeria who are in love with exploitative leaders, mm-hmm. manipulative mm-hmm. politicians, mm-hmm. Uh, power po- office holders across different ranks the, the even the religious class yeah, and stuff yeah. like that um <laughs> so let's talk about if you are that person let's say you are the person let's say you kn- you knew what you now know mm. it's almost impossible anyway <laughs> you know sometimes you're like i wish i knew what i knew no, uh-uh. you, didn't. you became <laughs> you who you were else. because mm, yeah right you went through that mm-hmm. you know sometimes just be like ah if I had, if I had this or that, you do, you know, you didn't know yeah. for sure, <laughs> right? But if someone is listening right now, maybe mm. let's say a twenty-four-year-old girl, mm. and I don't know if you heard the story about the guy who allegedly killed or, or dismembered yeah. his girlfriend, allegedly, right? But stories like that, things happen like that. But if you're that kind of person, or that kind of person is out there watching this now, maybe the person has been physically abused or emotionally abused mm-hmm. or financially abused touching that earlier yeah. the people in relationships now and a lot of women are suffering from yeah. irresponsible men mm-hmm. who see them as their financiers and their sponsors mm-hmm. and they're always telling lies about the project or a deal or a contract or <laughs> something and then these girls are are just really just being milked mm-hmm. and you know they are very in love and they're kind of shelling out some ladies are literally taking out loans oh yes to service the yeah. wasteful lives of men yeah. so if someone senses that oh maybe I've, i'm being gaslit i'm being kerosene lit i'm being paraffin lit and being ogusha lit wood, and being firewood lit, lit <laughs> and being which other one <laughs> kelebe lit <laughs> ah, yuck. any kind of lit. thing lit, mm, I'm lit apart yeah. from being mm. lit as in the right kind of lit ah, yeah. what would you tell that person to do now because mm. we want to help people right now right so first of all just pause mm. like if they're watching Netflix you just pause the button yeah 
<laughs> oh, this show now, they should pause this episode. No, don't pause this show. You can't afford to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try to be very objective about everything I do. I remember when I started my coaching business. Mm. And in fact, the very first client I had, somebody had recommended that to me. The person told this person that, oh, I want to leave my husband. I said, oh, okay, that's fine, you know. Go and meet Coach Jola Grace. And so when she came, I was like, okay, um... Uh, let, let's see let's start because i told I, I i told myself something and i had a conversation with my maker and i said i know that what you're asking me to do it's is a mandate in mm. fact i don't believe that i'm doing this because of what i went through mm. i believe that i went through what i went through mm. because i'm supposed to do this wow right because my destiny is pre mm. it's 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 pre so i mm. needed to go through what I went through so that I can do what I'm doing and do it well. Hmm. Right. So I said, I don't want to counsel people, coach people, uh, do therapy for people from my experience. Right. Hmm. Because my experience is just one, one. experience in, in a yeah. million. Every individual, every situation it's is unique. different. Hmm. Okay. Um, so when this lady came, you know, and we started sessions with her, I realized in about the third session that she was suffering with low self-esteem. Wow. And that she wasn't in an abusive relationship. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't in an abusive relationship. I, I, I think I've had about five of those kind of situations. Oh, wow. That at the end of the sessions, uh, I posted one recently on my on my Instagram. You know, at the end of those sessions, the ladies, they are in love. They, I never speak to the men, right? But the way the men falls back in love with the ladies, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> right because one of the things i say to people is that you don't have control over what other people do yeah right even if it's your child mm. you can only tell the child stand up mm. sit down i'm sure you've heard of the story of the mm -hmm. boy that the dad said sit down sit down sit down as like i don't want to sit down sit down, i don't want to sit down and then the <laughs> boy sits down and say boy i'm just sitting down i'm standing stand up in my, my mind, mind. <laughs> you know? so you can't really control what people do except you're a witch sorry mm that's manipulation manipulation yeah you can't but what you can control is your own actions and your own reaction to what other people mm. do. and it's important to know that oftentimes your action will birth a reaction mm. so if i'm walking down the road and i'm smiling i've got a big smile on my face as i'm yeah. walking down and you're walking towards me there's a high tendency that you smile back because I smiled. I if, see. I love this metaphors you use. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If if I'm walking and I'm frowning or I'm not even looking hmm. at you, of course pff, you're not going to look at me as well. In fact, you might look. Oh, what's wrong? With, you know, you can you can you can you can develop negative yeah. emotions just because you see my <laughs> my strong face. my strong face. <laughs> you know, and become immediately sad because yeah. of my strong face. You know, so my actions can birth a reaction. Hmm. Not about a reaction. So a lot of times for these ladies, I see that. There's low self-esteem, low self-worth, and um, unrealistic expectations, um, poor communication, mm. um, a lot of things that, you know, there's the, I'm writing a book now, Relation and Dynamics. I, in the book, I talked about common relationship mistakes. Mm. So all of these things, we started to work on it, started to get better, started to fall in love with themselves, because you can't give what you don't have, yeah. right? And you need to understand that Loving other people has to start from you loving yourself. yourself. Even I've Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. So that means there's a limit to how you can love people if you have a poor relationship with yourself. Let me let me say this. I say to people that, PD, you don't, you don't have a right to give me a Bentley if you have not bought yourself a Bentley. Mm. Don't buy it for me if mm. you don't have it. <laughs> but don't, that's, that's not what we were taught. Mm. J O Y Joy J O Y Joy. This is what it means. <laughs> and Jesus, Jesus says, oh, oh, that's that's nice. yes, "Excuse uh, me, excuse <laughs> you. Can you show me where that is in the Bible? Mm. Come on, don't do that. Stop it." Mm. So it should be J J, J Y O. Y -O. <laughs> <laughs> right. and that is what is destroying and killing a lot of people wow. because you, I'm not important. Wow. I'm not that. This. I was even saying to wow. someone that look, a lot of women, you know, that are now mothers older mothers and grandmothers mm. are in quotes bitter mm. right because now your child mm. is is growing wow. is working and you say to your child oh you started working on your first salary you must bring it to me mm. he said ah eh, 
then buy me banji. See, I need to go to Canada next week. Come and buy my ticket too. Mm. Oh, mom, but hey, 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 I don't want to hear that. Mm. Do you know the things I did for you? Mm. Eh? You don't know even a graceful child. I mm. sacrificed. I did it. Mm. I did it. Mm. Banji honestly has a family. Mm. Banji needs to pay his children's school fees. Mm. Banji has his own life. Mm. Why are you trying to suck the life? Banji is trying Banji? to jack bar. <laughs> but you know what your problem is? When you were taking care of Banji, you, put, put. you lost yourself. Mm. You didn't love yourself. <laughs> there was there was hey. there was there were three pieces of meat in the house and there were you know, five of you or four of you in the house. And you say, okay, do you children, really all of you eats. eat meats. I don't <sighs> need to eat meat. And you really and, wanted to and eat. And you really wanted to eat the meat. And then the second day, the, the second day, the happened. So you find so out you that you're not eating meats. Where you were you're not, not even. You're not eating. Only one piece of bread. All of you eat it. Don't worry. And you maybe convince yourself that you don't like meat. You do, yeah, you don't like meat. Whereas yeah, every like time fish. you saw meat, you were hoping to meet up <laughs> mm. with the expectations. Yeah. But right. the expectations were unmet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and that made you bitter. <laughs> okay, I that made it bitter instead of the sweetness of the meat. Come on now. Now nah, this is <laughs> unmitigated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. But this is powerful. So you see the the woman as she she's like, Oh, I, I'm bringing up my children. She's left her dreams. She mm. didn't pursue her mm. dreams. Mm. She wasn't happy. And of course, she sees the man flying, mm. you know, doing all sorts of mm. things, you know, pursuing his business, his career, he's doing well, but I'm here. <gasps> all I have to do is just my children, my children, mm. my children. So mm. your children are your investment. And so you are like, ah, hey, <laughs> now they are eh? Eh, I need this new latest shoe. Mm. I, I said to someone, I said, You saying your 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 child should bring her first salary or his first salary. How is that child going to survive in that first month? The way the child survived when you take took care of the child. <laughs> <laughs> the child that is now somewhere I'm, I'm else. I'm not advocating that though. You know, so but the, the, the ju- problem just to make there. sure people are not hearing what you're not saying, but they're hearing yeah, what so you're I'm saying. Try, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to balance it now. Yeah, so of course, is, is you, that, you're, oh, oh, people by, should make by sacrifices. All, by but, all means, yeah. right? By all means. Oh, we, we are called to live a life of sacrifice. Yes. Right? Um, deep relationships require sacrifice. Right. There's also, one of the core right. ingredients of successful relationship is sacrifice. sacrifice. It must be there. Mm. Because things, things will not always be easy. Mm. You will not always have it easy to. So there will be that one occasion mm. that the children will eat all the meats. Mm. It's fine. Yeah. There will be that time that you would you won't eat and they will eat. It's okay. Yeah. But then the problem is you've made it a habit. Right. And then in your mind you've told yourself, I'm not important. Mm. I don't matter. Mm. It's just about them. Mm. It's just about him. Mm. Let them just be there. Me, I'm here and wow. I'm and I'm bitter. I'm bitter because ah, I would really like to do hair business. I would really love wow. to learn these things. But there's, there's, there's no need to go. I'm not important. They let me just face my family first. Ah, and I would really love to, to do a master's, you know. Ah, no, 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 it doesn't matter. I'm not that important. Wow. And so you keep discounting everything that you had the opportunity to have done mm. while you're looking at your children glowing amazing yours everybody's so you grow up and because you know in your mind now you now have that entitled mentality but yeah. seriously they don't have the capacity to do to it handle. and the relationship becomes strained strain, strain it becomes sour mm. you are bitter and i so that's why i say that you 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 <laughs> are the most important person in your life mm. Because without you, there will be no, you. no life. You have your life. In right? fact, you wow. looking after yourself, spirit, soul, and body is is you saying that I care about the people who are Come around on. me. Come because on. when I'm healthy, Come when on. I'm whole, spirit, soul, and body, I can give you my best. Mm. So when I'm talking about healing emotionally, for instance, I say, look, the number one reason why you need to heal is because you carry value. Mm. There's something special on your inside. God sent you here for something. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I ordained you. Mm. Ordained me. If I say, um, I'm ordaining you as a deacon. What am I saying? Mm. I'm giving you the portfolio of a deacon. I'm mm. telling you this at the person's specification, the job description of a deacon. This is your assignment. Mm. This is your position. So before you were formed in your mother's womb, God okay, gave you that yeah. assignment. You're going to be a teacher. You're going to be an actor. You're going to be a singer. You're going to be this. That's the value. And the value is there regardless. Right. But life happens to us. Yes. As it will because we live here. Now, <coughs> trauma can steal your value. 
it can steal it can distort it can steal your value mm. it can distort your value yeah right it can make you believe that you're useless you're worthless i was there i didn't see i didn't see anything special about me oh i didn't i didn't feel i was any good i didn't even feel i was good looking i didn't feel hmm. i just felt there's nothing i mean people won't see me i'm just i'm just there and trauma will make you believe that there's strengths. People are talking about strengths and you, you've got nothing. <laughs> you've got nothing. That's what trauma will do to you. But when you heal, you will begin to dis- rediscover your authentic self, your original yeah. Self, yeah. self, what God has put on you on your inside. And so that is the number one reason why you need to heal because you carry that value. That's why you will see people in their workplace, places of work, they are struggling. You know, they get into something happens to them. They are traumatized. They were delivering at hundred before. They now begin to deliver at eighty, Drop. seventy, mm-hmm. sixty, twenty. Wow! Nothing has happened. It's not as if their knowledge has decreased, dissolved, <laughs> or dissolved, <laughs> or dwindling. Mm. It's just that their mind is not settled. Mm. Their emotions is is all over the place. There's a wound in their soul that they need to heal from. Mm. And so it's important for you to go on that journey. Okay? Let's <laughs> talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes. so in that the person that is in an abusive relationship, oh, yes. what should they that do? Is. So the, the first thing you've said, which you expounded on, is pause. And then you need to love yourself. People need to love themselves. Mm-hmm. Right. When we're back, we're going to de- dig into more of this because we want to really then get tactical. What does that look like? What does pausing look like? Does it mean if you're living with a person, move out of the house? Does it mean break their pattern? If they say bass, you two say booze. Right. Does it mean if they bark like a dog, you two meow like a cat? What does it mean, literally? And then what's the process of healing? What does healing look like? Because we use that word often, but maybe some people don't know what it looks like, especially people who've never seen a whole human being before. Yeah. And I want to say that many Nigerians don't know what a whole... Uh, yeah. All right, we'll be back right after this break. <laughs> Are you tired of putting your passion on hold because you don't think it will make you rich? It's time for you to change the mindset as that not even the life you've always dreamed of. Hi, I'm Damien Alon Wati when I'm here to help you unleash your full potential with the Rich Genius Program. As someone who has found his gifts and turned them into profitable ventures, I know firsthand the power of following your passion. The Rich Genius Program is designed to help you discover your gifts, find your purpose, and make a lot of money from them. With our guidance, you will learn how to turn your passion into a thriving business that will provide you with financial freedom. So why wait? Don't put your passion on hold any longer. Start your journey towards success with the Rich Genius Program today. Join me and become a part of a community of progressive people who are deploying their gifts profitably. Click the Learn More button now to get started on your path to success. So you might be aware that on the 3rd of December this year, we're hosting White Nights. White Nights is an acronym for Night of Wisdom, Hope, Inspiration, Transmission, and Entertainment. Featuring comedy, spontaneous wordplay, spoken word, music, finger foods, and just a fun time of games and contests built around the whole white people movement. So you want to get your ticket, you want to partner with us, you want to support, you want to sponsor, get in touch with me on or via the details on the screen or via details on the next video you're going to watch. That can be said with the amazing... The author, the singer, the mentor. Please put your hand together for BDAMS as he comes to share with us how we all suck. I'm just going to share a couple of stories. So please quickly pick up your, your phones, go to Instagram. Are you on Instagram already? All right, just go to this place and click it. The plus at the then slide. You're going to see stories. <laughs> Some people still didn't get it. But we know say God now, Papa, and we have the right genes. Enough! Well, you are very rude. You see somebody that wrote something about gay? That's when they will not be put. Take your picture and go. It's not a. Because I promise you that everything you touch is fire. Every beat you're on is a banger. Because every word I speak is Rema. Another. Love 
is the tango of consonants and dissonance, dancing to the symphonies of life set to be in harmony. As you just called on strike recently, recently, some young girls are not going back to school this day. Some of them are going back to school pregnant. And I waste over the study anatomy if you see anatomy. Hey! Good evening, P Dams. Good evening, Pastor Told You. I've laughed. I hope I've not thrown my voice away. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the soul, talking about healing for the soul, talking about detox, talking about trauma, talking about moving on, talking about healing. You mentioned something earlier about value. Heal because you're a person of value, and that's so powerful, it's mm -hmm. profound. In that, um, I could use different things, but let me use, so my dad was a vet, and I saw him treat or administer treatment, medical care, to a lot of animals, mm -hmm. cats, dogs goats sheep cows mm. uh, i know he did with horses as well but i never saw that mm. right but one of the things that really tripped me was that sometimes these animals were like really damaged mm. i will never forget there's a particular image that is stuck in my head for life mm. they brought a duck mm. to our house the duck had a fr had a the leg was cut basically you know how thin a they dog. are yes why don't you just fry the dog do you understand as in like <laughs> in nigeria now as in mean, that's, if, that's if that was literally like, okay is it dog well let's just have a dog barbecue or something yeah <laughs> like but you know the good thing is why don't you just fry the dog but again it was the dog tour so he took the dog on a tour come on okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> so <laughs> but you know, you know some some bus conductors are con dock because <laughs> they're quack <laughs> so they go quack quack <laughs> but but it was a dock and there was just a tiny ligament holding the leg to the feet mm. do you know that my dad actually stitched the wow. leg of this dog as in they didn't even have flesh <laughs> but the, but the dog got healed wow right um, so I think that's encouraging in that no matter how fractured people are, mm. they can get healed. If mm. a doc got that kind of treatment, then God, who's a healer, is able to do that. But I was going to talk about value. Mm. One of the things I discovered was because my dad valued animals, he really loved animals, he would mm. do everything he could to fix those animals. I think the only time he couldn't really help any, any animal that I knew about was we had a cat. And at that time, my mom had a soup factory a part of the house and the cat jumped into the acid mm. right so it got born so by the time they pulled out this the, i mean the guy was just sort of like suffering and eventually wow. died um but i also discovered that we save people that we value and mm. if you see there's value in it we, we repair it if your phone is damaged then you you break i mean you uh fix it because you want to use it let's yeah. say the sc screen is cracked mm. So how do we find that value, especially in environments that keep reinforcing how much they don't value us? So let me give an example, Nigeria. Uh, people say, oh, young people, you guys should go out and fight for your rights. You have to protest. You know, you have to pro exams. You have to pro assessment, don't just protest. Do all the pros so that eventually use pro code, Protesis. right? And if nothing is found, you can still be profound. Come on, but you know, people say all of that, and, and you know, it also sounds like when they say, Why don't you fight back the abusive man or the abusive husband or the abusive wife or lady? I feel that's the way you pull out when it comes to Nigeria that why do we protest? But then you see, um, October 20th. That was very damaging. So people actually protested. Mm. People actually died. Even if they say it was not a yeah. uh, massacre, people died. Yeah. At least eventually, officials came out and said, okay, well, seven people or nine people died. But people mm. died. Mm. <laughs> right. How do people, especially Africans, you know, and I think over 50% of those who are watching here are uh, Africans. Mm. You know, a couple of people are not Africans. Well, a lot of Africans have been through trauma. Mm. Is there a way to reclaim that sense of value in a space that consistently, you know, so when people jack by, a lot of people are breaking up with Nigeria. That's what that jack by is. For those who don't feel compelled to jack by or to leave the country, mm. how can you reclaim your sense of value? 
how can you repair what gets damaged in your heart every day when you pay for things i still have to pay with suffering for what you paid with money for uh, so first of all let me just say that your emotions are valid mm. Mm. whatever you're feeling because of the pain because of the trauma because of the betrayal that you've experienced is valid don't suppress your emotions mm. don't repress your emotions mm. because medical research has proven that between 75 to 90 percent of the physical diseases that we mm. have in our bodies as a result of trapped negative emotions wow right and a lot of times people i mean i shared earlier on that i i actually have an experience myself mm. i went through trauma and um there are some pain in your body's persistent pain that you have in your body that tells that you are your emotion is in a particular place yeah because right? organs are connected Mind to your endocrine system yeah right. so if you are you constantly feel pain on your shoulder hmm. like you all the, the pain is there perpetually i'm checking my and shoulders <laughs> no pain and the word so again because i always like i said i always like to be objective and balance things up so even though uh, the examples I've made about um, if you're having these experiences in relationship, then it's toxic, it's perpetual. Mm. Okay, the word there is it happens all of the time. Yeah. So if perpetually you have this pain uh, on your shoulder, it means that you're carrying the burden of a spouse or of a child. Oh, really? Right. So wow. for me, right, I at a point in time, you know, when I was still in the abusive uh, relationship, I started to discover some lumps on my shoulder lumps as in this we're talking about physical lumps, lumps now physical not, lumps not physical. imaginary or no. physical lumps it was wow. one and then it became two and then it wow. became three wow right and you know of course it was concerning and i i went for a biopsy hmm. right and it was cancer <sighs> right. so it, it wasn't it was just it wasn't just pain in my shoulder it degenerated into cancerous tumor wow because of the traumatic and toxic environment that i was in wow right um they took the lumps out at the royal Marsden hospital in london and the surgeons <laughs> there said we've never removed lumps from anybody's shoulder wow i mean what are they doing there you know it was so deep that they had to take a graft from my tie to put there just to by the time they it. remove the lumps remove wow. the lumps so emotions negative emotions trapped on your inside if not taken care of right will degenerate into diseases in your body migraine headaches irritable bowel syndrome if you constantly if you're holding somebody in unforgiveness that every time you remember that person you're just angry and bitter and resentful you will realize that you have a lot of digestion digestion issues mm. stomach issues constipation mm. that is what is causing it mm. so it is important that you begin to assess your emotions what, what am i feeling why am i feeling what i'm feeling mm. right now the question you ask about value the truth is trauma will distort your identity wow and a lot of people don't even know who they are hmm. so how do i get my value hmm. how do i begin to uh deliver my value to my world hmm. it starts from just rediscovering yourself who am i and it was a journey that i went on i see right? so but you, do you have to start healing before you discover your value or it's, is it discovering your value that helps you, you heal no you can't discover your value if you are not healed because you are distorted yeah. you're distorted you yeah. know you don't even know who you are so before you talk about the healing part or the value part mm. you know as we are speaking i'm thinking that's why a lot of people in nigeria are using all this um medications all the time people are popping pills all the time self-medication yes and some people are also having a lot of i'm not saying maybe this is the only reason but mm. it could be a fallout of it a lot of hormonal imbalance mm -hmm as well yeah. blood pressure issues oh yeah oh blood cancers pressure is, yeah um and then you having the age limits falling like mm. before these things were like if you are 65 or yeah. 70 mm. but now a lot of young people are talking about having migraine headaches um hormonal imbalance mm. and all whatnot so mm. that's that's it serious because 
like I said, the prosperity of your soul is a function of the prosperity of every other area of your life. Mm. Right? And so, understanding that my emotions matter, my mind matter, my will is important for it to be healthy, you know, we help you to also maintain health in your physical body. Mm. Right? And sometimes, we, we, we are, so, I mean, you're talking about the situation in Nigeria and all of that. We can come to a place where our normal is abnormal mm. <laughs> right because you've yeah. been used to something for so long yeah it becomes normal you're like oh yeah. okay, this is normal you adjust to you, it you it's it, i mean it, i mean it's normal <laughs> so for instance again use using my 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 myself as an example right i after i exited and i started to you know my journey of healing and reinvention i went to a friend's house and i it was in the morning i slept over and I, go, I got up, I saw the man, the husband in the kitchen, and he was <laughs> frying eggs and cooking yam. And I was like, <laughs> I rushed upstairs. I told my friend, I said, are you okay? <laughs> you're, 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 I mean, what's going on? This is, this is not right. What, what's the matter? I said, how can your husband be in the kitchen? And you know, <laughs> and you are sleeping. You're pressing your phone. He said, eh, it's normal now. <laughs> I'm like, how can that even be normal? Mm. I started to think, and I saw that but over time mm. in with other couples and i began to say to myself jola your normal is a normal be somebody's normal your normal is a normal. now begin to redefine your normal mm. and so people perpetually allow themselves to be abused i mean not abused in a larger term mm. even in as a country as a society in mm. organizations because that's what you've been used to. Mm. Oh, okay, so you come and bow down for somebody, roll on the floor mm. before the person lays their hand on you or something. <laughs> you, you are used to it. But you need, the question is, as I said, is it normal? Mm. Is this really objective? Let's, let's really look at this thing. Let's mm. break it down. Is it normal? You know, sometimes I, I, I teach people on thoughts, how to manage your thoughts, you know, mm. um, relational intelligence, and we talk, yeah. also talk, talk about thought intelligence. A lot of times, one of the ways to overcome negative thoughts is to take the thoughts to court. Mm. Okay, so you believe that if if I saw one of your t-shirts, I really loved it. I don't have to become a mistress to get my masters. Um, it's a normal that some people have imbibed in their subconscious. Mm. Except I do this. Except you know, I'm sleeping around with a man. I cannot sustain my life. I right. cannot live. Right. Okay, let's take that to court. Mm. My lord. Except I do okay, really. Oh, okay, I've heard. Where, where's the evidence? Mm. Show me the evidence. Mm. If you go to a court of law and you don't have any evident, evidence, what does the judge do? Show right, your case. right. So that thought put your thoughts on trial, yeah. Hmm. Take your thoughts to court, mm. put it on trial. And a lot of times, you will see that there is no basis for what you've accepted and what you've believed to be normal for lo- for so long. Yeah, it's, it's just they say, Who are the day? <laughs> people these standards yeah. that you are going around setting who set the standard yeah. who who are you come on this is you this is your life mm. this is about you growing and becoming a better you what will yeah. people say, say. Mm. addiction to people's opinion is a sign of low self-esteem mm. because you think that oh they must be happy with me if yeah. they're not happy with me then you know i'm going to be sad mm. who are the day <laughs> hello First of all, it has to start from you. So yeah. that journey of rediscovery, the first thing, so I wrote a book, Rise Above Your Past. Mm. right? And I shared four practical ways that I used to personally uh, come out of my negative past and begin my journey of healing. And the first thing I mentioned there was acceptance. Mm. You can't heal what you don't accept. Accept. I see. You can't. You first of all have to accept that, okay, this happened to me. I've, I've coached a lot of people that went through childhood trauma because that's, also one of the kind of abuses that we don't talk about yeah five year old seven year old three year old uh somebody sexually abuses you as a child and you tell mm. you don't tell anybody mm. you tell anybody you would die and this six year old this seven year old this nine year old goes through life becomes an wow. adult wow with that thing at the back of their mind and they just realize that I'm dysfunctional. Mm. You know, my cognitive reasoning is f- at fault. I'm not, what is wrong with me? Mm. And so a lot of times we have to go back to that childhood, work on the child, mm. right? Uh, you know, tap on that child, help that child heal before the adults can heal yeah. and can function properly, right? And so it is important for you to understand that the value that we are trying to find 
is already in you. Yeah. You're just re- so it's not lost. It's not you it's don't not have lost, to go and import right? it or run after the abusers to retrieve it. No. Because no. people also say, <laughs> oh, I need to go and meet the person to whatever. Uh, you know, <laughs> healing is so powerful. Hmm. Healing is so is is so beautiful. Because healing helps you to set your priorities right. Some things that you focus on and waste your energy on is because wow. you are not healed. Wow. You're still trying to prove a point. Ah, <laughs> you must know that. And who, yeah. It's, it's not necessary. Yeah. It's not important. You, 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 uh, now, I, I say this about purpose. I said that earlier on that my purpose is it, it didn't come. You say, oh, at least because you went through, you now have a purpose. No. <laughs> No, it's I went through where I went because I already had a purpose. Mm. So now healing, mm. right, and rediscovering my value, I'm realigning with my purpose mm. because I fell out of line with my purpose. The trauma made me fall out of line with my purpose. I couldn't see it. I was distorted. Yeah. Right. But going on my journey of healing, I was like, wow, I rediscovered wow. myself. This yeah. is who you are. Oh my goodness. You like to talk. You mm. like to write. You like to act. Mm. You like to do this. Wow, nice one. Well done. Right? And then rediscovering myself, I began, my value began to become bigger to yeah. me. The, every day I rediscover myself, every day I'm like, this is my value. I'm having peace about it. I'm having, you know, tra- tranquility, uh, tranquility towards it. I feel good yeah. because I'm I'm loving this thing that I'm doing. And it's not about me proving anything to anybody. anybody. It's just mm. me being in my space. Yeah. Me just being myself. Me just and then a lot of times you will see that when you are in that space, grace is released to you. Yeah. Jala Grace. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Th- there's a story behind that. Jala uh, Grace Imano. Uh, yeah. I see. It's it's very intentional. There is a story. I'll probably talk about that later. There's a story behind it. Right? Because I tell people that Again, competition means that you're broken. Mm. You don't have a good self esteem. You're just ah, hmm, <laughs> just bought a Gucci bag. I'm sure. <laughs> have you watched She Must Be Obeyed? <laughs> no, I know, but I, I sure, I guess, because I've seen it. You know? So I'm like, oh, she just did this. Oh, I must do that. She just did that. I must do that. It's because you're broken. Let's mm. fix what is broken inside of you, mm. and you will be good. Mm. You know, I, I some years ago, I, I wore this. I got this shoe. This um this high boots and some of my nieces saw it. I was like, oh, auntie, auntie, is it uh, Dr. Martin? I'm like, what is Dr. Martin? He <laughs> said, is he original? Is it? I'm like, I said, me, I'm original. Hey. Right? So anything I wear is original. It matches up with my Just originality. I use my originality <laughs> to wear it. It's, do you understand? So, yeah. but you are, I see people like just go into debt, mm. right? Because they want to wear a label from head to toe. Mm. Even though you've got all the label on you, how do you feel on your inside? Mm. You look good, but you are not good. Mm. Right? And because people are not accepted that something yeah. is wrong, you can't heal. All you are trying to do is to cover Pick it up. up. I if, believe. if somebody has a bad hand or a bad leg, and they say, ah, it's okay, I don't need to go to the hospital, I'll just keep wearing nice clothes, you know, to oh. cover the, the that that's wound. Nobody mm. will see it. I'll just... That's not the way. What eventually will happen to that wound? It will degenerate. Yes. You know, it will... It can't, it can't, they can't cut the limb off mm. and all of that because you've not accepted that as a problem. Now, when you accept, begin to investigate what happened. So this is a journey of healing. What happened? How did this thing happen to me? Mm. In my own case, while I was investigating the trauma I experienced and how I got myself there, one of the main, of course, a lot of, a lot of things came up. One of the main things that came up for me was I did not know who this person was. I only know what this person was. Mm. There's a difference between your who and your and what. Your what. Mm. So for me, I just saw the what of this person. I was like, oh, looks good. Mm. The what is good. You know, let's let's go for it. Mm. But the what is not the who. Yeah. Right? So the what uh, is more like the physical attributes or characteristics or their functionality and the things that people can see, right? But the part who of it. is... Part of it. The what is... Is the MD, is the CEO, okay. is the Titles. coach, he's the pastor. Mm. Oh, he draws very well. Mm. Oh, he's an actor. Oh, he's a singer. Mm. It's there. So W H A T, not W O R T H. Yeah. Right. So it is. He, oh, I'm a, that's why I say. I know that it's African. 
uh, we're, we're talking to a lot of Africans. Um, if you are too obsessed with title, mm. we need to check. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to introduce us at an event and they say, oh, can we please put our hands together for Mr. Shoelace? <laughs> and you get up and you're like, um, sorry, uh, can he introduce me? I, I'm actually chief. This is, <laughs> you know, my names are chief shoelace. And, uh, you know, shoeless, yeah. whatever. In which you know? sometimes the <laughs> scene that chief is actually a T. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. You know, I, I, and, I, and I'm like, okay, well, it's, it's fine. I, and and I'm, not, I'm not saying don't use title. You know, that's what is respectful is good. But the you obsession. Know. Yeah, the obsession. You know, you, you worked hard. You know, for instance, if you're a doctor, you've got, gone to school, did your PhD and all of that, you know. It's, it's good. It's okay. We must respect, you know, mm. honor must be given to when honor is due. But sometimes the obsession with that title is unreal. Mm. Like you <laughs> slap everybody because they didn't call unreal. you a chief. And you're like, oh, hello, did you, is that Pastor Jesus? Did you, I mean, um, Bishop Jesus, please, um, Bishop. Jesus, Apostle they, 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 Jesus. I, will <laughs> give you, I will give you a name, yeah. not a title, yeah. a name. But all of this... It's just a sign that something is wrong. And sometimes people cover things up for 20, 30, 40, mm. 50 years. Mm, it doesn't right. matter how long you've covered it for. It's, gonna it's come okay. Up. Mm. You can make a decision today to say, look, I want to heal. Awesome. I want to start my journey of healing. Mm. Right? And investigate. So, yeah. So, I say investigate. Find out who the person is. Not what the person is. Yeah. Because... Who the person is is what will sustain you. Yeah. By the time I started realizing who the person is, I realized that I was in, I was entered one chance. Wow. Right. Because, to a very large extent, your character is your character. Yeah. Your character is you. And yeah. I don't even I don't like doing extremes because I'm not God. You yeah. know. But most of the time, it's difficult to change somebody's character. Hmm. That's that's that person. Mm. Their mind is set on this is me. Yeah. You know, all of the time. You mean this kind of person yeah, or anybody else? Even anybody else. But people because do grow. I believe people grow. Right. Well, yes. Pe pe but, you know, people grow to become a better version of themselves. Of what they've been. Okay. So, because we need to taper it down now to a conclusion. But I want people to be helped. Hmm. So, when the final stretch. Right. In the case where someone that listens to this now says, ah, me, I'm a person of bad character. I can never change. Mm -mm. <laughs> because how do we help someone who just feels, you know, because let me put it like this. I've said it sometimes in church mm -hmm. that we pray. And when we pray, we pray for victims to say, oh, that person was raped, you know, comfort and help and healing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the rapists are inside that church. Oh. <laughs> sometimes, you know, inside that same spiritual mm -hmm. meeting, right if someone feels like i'm just bad i'm broken i'm fractured this is the way i am i'm the exploiter i'm the rapist i'm the thief i'm the violator i'm the jaguda and then if the person just feels eh the people don't escape from me what do we make of that how can you speak to that okay um there was a time i, I did a research on perpetrator you know why do they do the things they do Hmm. Right, and some of the things I came up with is sometimes the perpetrator themselves have been a victim once. Mm. Right, so which is also why I say heal healing is is not non negotiable. It's important to know that sometimes, right, um, perpetrators of abuse themselves went through abuse. Mm. Right, they were victims at a point, and they started living their life in defensive mode. Like mm. nobody will ever treat me like this again. Wow. Nobody will ever take advantage of me of this again. Of and because of that, they become a perpetrator. They are so you know what they say, if you don't heal from what hurts you, you bleed on people who didn't cut, cut you. you. Right. And so they're going through life, you know, transferring the pain, mm. transferring the trauma, transferring the aggression to people around them mm. and self sabotaging, losing beautiful relationships because mm. they have refused to heal. heal. Sometimes perpetrators grew up seeing abuse in the home. Right. So the home, the environment they grew up was toxic. 
Mm. Um, they see that anytime mom has an issue with dad, mom will just come and speak to dad anyhow. Mm. You know, dad will just come and slap mom. Mom will just wow. come and hold that shit and like, mm. today you will kill me. And you know, mm. that is what is so growing up. Yeah. And you know, children learn by what they see, not just mm. what you tell them mm. to do. Yeah. And so this has already settled in the subconscious mind of that abuser that, okay, uh, anytime I see, you know, this happens to me, this is how I will respond. Mm. Even though sometimes, you know, the person will have said, I, I don't want to be like my dad. I don't want to be like my mom, you know, yeah. because I don't like the things they do. Mm. But then they end up Repeats doing the, the same pattern. thing again mm. because our mind cannot process negative, negative. So mm. the things you say, I don't want to mm. you end up doing because it is you are still focusing on that thing. Yes. That is why the Bible says, let the, weak, yeah, yeah. let the weak say, I I'm am strong. strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. rich. Not that I am not weak mm. or I am not strong. So mm. you focus on what you want. What do you want? Mm. And a lot of times we've had people like that come, you know, for therapy and coaching and they've, they've been changed. They've healed. They've become a better version of themselves. Mm. Right? Now, the other category of people are people who have uh, personality disorders, you know? Yeah. One of the commonest uh, personality disorders of perpetrators is narcissistic Narcissist. personality disorders yeah. disorder. And sadly, one of the traits of a narcissist is that they have an exaggerated opinion of, of their themselves. own importance. Mm. So they don't believe anything is wrong with them. They don't believe that they are ever wrong. They don't believe that they ever make mistakes. They actually believe that everybody else has a problem, mm. that they are the only wise one <laughs> yeah, in their environment. And they say things like, if uh, I don't get anything done around here, nobody would do anything. You know, I'm mm. the only one that knows. So they, they are the only, they are the only whatever mm. in, in where they are. And people like that are difficult to help. Mm. Because how do you tell somebody like that that, oh, you have, you know, l let's help you be a better you, you know. So sometimes people can change. Right. They can, if they submit themselves to change. Mm. But that is also a character thing. Because mm. if we look at the example of Saul and David, mm. right, you say character, <laughs> but the heart is different. Yeah. Right. So do you think a, a Saul could have made better choices? Hmm. Because this was his heart. Hmm. It had to do with heart. Wow. So he, people must be very careful who they end up with. Absolutely. Otherwise, you might stand, I mean, spend the rest of your life in interventions. In interventions that would not work. Wow. Because the heart is wrong. That's ouch. The, he's ouchy. <laughs> I know. He's out, oh, the wow. heart is wrong. I mean, you will see a David, a humble heart. Even though sometimes his his actions mm. were very wrong mm. i mean like yeah. this is v david come on come mm. off it mm. but his heart was right mm. he was ready to say i'll change i won't do that again i'll submit myself to, to, to therapy to coaching mm. you know i'll be a better person it was about his heart please help us identify this red flags you're about to get into a relationship or into maybe like work or sometimes workshop, people don't, they don't, you don't cut work. You you just, you just <laughs> get or maybe during an interview session or maybe church or, and I still want us to talk about church briefly though, but give us telltale signs of mm. somebody who might be an abuser. Mm. I mean, uh, because you of time, deep, you know, just, uh, yeah. Yeah. I know. First of all, anybody that makes you think that they are doing you a favor by relating with you, you should be careful. Wow. Oh, you should be happy that I'm your friend. I mean, wow. I, I don't really. So something as subtle as that. Oh yes, 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 yes. You know, I mean, I don't really. I'm not. Re I don't really. I'm not really friends with people like you. Just, just be glad <laughs> at least I'm talking to you. But people right? say things like this just online and all what not though. well of course and maybe, maybe hints it's there, but it's it's a seed right see out of the abundance of, of the, the heart, heart the <laughs> mouth speaks there was someone that brought you know someone to come and see me and you know um they said oh this is the person i want to marry and i started to talk to the person and i just was getting the person to talk 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 and they said oh in fact she's not even my spec physically mm. she's not my spec i'm just wow Red I was flag. like, ouchie. Mm. After I told the person, I said, you've not found the spouse. So. Wow. What? You know, so, so, some people let themselves out. They, mm. they, they give themselves up. Yeah. So which is why paying attention to some of those little, little things. Don't make excuses for bad behavior. Come on now. Don't do it. Come on now. And a lot of things I'm saying are the things that I learned from my own experience. experience. Somebody does something, you're like, ah, he's a man of God. 
mm. he cannot do wrong mm. ah that's my mentor she cannot do wrong mm. but you see that this thing is wrong, wrong. But you just keep. But you just keep making it. excuses. Oh, okay. It was because she had a bad day at work. That's why she slaps me when she go back from home. Hmm. Oh, it was because you know he lost money in his business. That's why he beats me up when he came back from home. Are hmm. you a punching bag? Hmm. Are you a, a, a distressor? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you know. So don't make excuses for bad, bad behavior. behavior don't tolerate i say abuse tolerated becomes aggravated you mm. asked sometimes why do people stay so long in those kind of toxic relationships because we keep tolerating the abuse yeah and we keep telling ourselves oh so you it's develop not capacity to manage what is unmanageable absolutely until it becomes explosive or yeah. implosive as the case may be as- absolutely uh. so don't do it because every human being has a tendency to want to manipulate mm. and try it out yeah. and say let me see what I, but the moment you say no i really yeah. appreciate you but sir can you not speak to me in that manner yeah because i mean you go to an office and somebody's trying to you know say oh, come on, get out of here you're stupid you're this. Just, excuse me with all due respect sir man yeah. I, I, I really well i know maybe i can say you're nigerian you can see that something you get sacked well, but you yeah, can you can look yeah, for you, ways and sometimes you can getting put sacked your might actually be a blessing be better for uh, absolutely so but you know that it, it's about you knowing yourself and your value yes you know because if you don't know your worth or your value then you will tolerate those bad behaviors right okay so watch out for the seemingly little things absolutely that may eventually compound absolutely right. if if somebody feels that anytime anything goes wrong it's it is your, your fault. fault like it, it doesn't matter this they oversleep why didn't you wake me up <laughs> <laughs> they forget their keys in their in their own pockets. I mean, why would you make me forget my keys in my pockets? How did I make you forget? You overate. It's just because of you I overate. How how did, how is it my fault? Why did you feed me so much? Why did you feed me? Why did you put so much food on my? Did I, so sometimes and the slap people, you be like, why do you place your chicken line of my hand? Yeah, no, you had you got me angry. Oh, wow. it's, it's because you didn't serve my food on time that's why i slapped you if you had brought my food here the time i told you by 7 p.m on the dot my food should be on the table it is 702 you are mm. very foolish and then, wow. and then you too because you believe that something is wrong fault. with you say hey, it's not it's, 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 it's me it's me i was mm. two minutes late to serving the food that wow. that's what happened wow you know so people who don't take responsibility who always blame you for everything mm. is something to watch out for. for because even though you are not perfect mm. even though sometimes you will do something wrong mm. you are not wrong all of the time right and there's nobody that is right all, all of the, the time, time. Mm. right so these are some of the little little things to watch out for okay awesome. does the person have the ability to say i'm sorry when they do something wrong do they mm. accept their responsibility do they get get angry when you point something at them do they have this one is important do they have people mm. who can correct them in their lives? Mm. You want to get married to a man, you want to get married to a woman, they're not submissive to anybody. They're like, you know, it's, it's me and God. God. And you know the way people <laughs> quote things to 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 uh, cover, um, up, for cover up for their bad behavior. Yeah. So they will say things like, God doesn't have grandchildren. Mm. You know, I'm a child of God. I did directly with God. <laughs> Because they refuse to submit to anybody. Yeah. There must be somebody in their life, whether a man or a woman, who can call them and say, sit down. This is what you are doing is nonsense. Mm. This is wrong. You can't keep doing this. Right. Otherwise, that person will kill you. Mm. And nobody will be able to do anything about mm. it. And they will then make the story. Mm. They will twist it. That's why I said, please don't die there. Mm. Because sadly, when they twist the story after you are gone, Yeah. You, you are not there to right to it. say no that's not what happened let's round off but not without talking about abuse in church mm. um religion is a big thing in africa as a matter of fact a lot of people because human beings like to hold on to hope and one of the major things legitimate things that religion or brands of spirituality or faith expressions offer mm. is hope I mean, you need hope (laughs) in Nigeria. Absolutely. But then, because people are so desperate for hope, Mm. sometimes they become slaves of those who are merchants of hope. Mm. Right? So, the kids where spiritual leaders have assaulted, abused, molested, Mm. financially, 
exploited people mm. can you speak to that can you speak to the fact that or what do you think about the fact that people who say this guy is anointed is an anointed man of god is a very powerful man of god but then when you see some other things you're like what's going on and you you really said we are rounding up <laughs> yeah we have we have to round up this, this is a very important this question you're asking the, me <laughs> the, the what's going on because like maybe uh, this guy might just say receive it and before and you receive, says, receive it, it yeah it, you fall has, down yeah you know the whole place all the cameras fall on the floor exactly what to think of it the cameras don't fall to the ground when the anointing is moving why well we can't because i mean the cameramen are standing the protocols are standing maybe sometimes angels take over or sometimes the camera just like yeah the cameras are resistant or they've received their own before Before, okay right i get it i I mean (laughs) in saying that i was having an internal conversation the other day and um I was supposed to go somewhere and I couldn't go there. So I was thinking to myself, mm, should I send them money or, you know, and I was beginning to think, okay, do they, is my presence more important to them or my mm, money? Mm. And, you know, the conversation went from that and it went to God asking me about people wanting his presence or what is in his hand. Mm, right. Mm, and so mm. he, he actually was asking me, you know, my presence or what's in my hand. And I began to brood and think over it. That a lot of times people get themselves into this kind of situations that you've described because we are looking for what is in the hand of God, mm. not his presence. Mm. Yeah, like just give me, we, we, we treat church as like a supermarket. Yeah. You know, that's a when there's a prayer meeting for a miracle mm. or, you know, financial breakthrough, all of those things. Place is packed to the teeth. When it's less come for self development, uh, you know, evangelism, Skill, yeah. just prayer for t- countries who are, growth, you know, things like that, people are not there because they're like, ah, well, uh, and miracle is what I'm looking for now. You know, mm. it's all about miracles. Yeah. But miracles are just by the way. Mm. Seek your first kingdom of God and righteousness and all these things Shall that the Gentiles it. seek after. Yeah. <laughs> I see people that people, if you realize that God is your father, mm. father, mm. he's not a, a CEO. Mm. He's not, he's not the MD of your company. Mm. He's not your boss. He's your father. Mm. If you, me and men, know how to give good gifts mm. to your children, how much more will me, your heavenly father, give good gifts mm. to mm. you? Every good and perfect wow. gift comes from above. Mm. Right? And if he's saying, seek first, seek yeah. me first, my presence not what is in my hand. What is in my hand is an addition. Right. It's, it's, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. If your child comes to, you know, come to meet you and stays with you all day in office, you're mm. having a banter, you know, you're going to at a point say, oh, go and get him some KFC, go and yeah. get him some burger, go and I get see. him some this. Yeah. It's getting what is in your hand, but it didn't come for what it was in your hand. He just came to spend time that, with that. That makes sense right there. Right? So, a lot of us needs to start disembarking mm. from that journey of Ah, I need a miracle. I need a breakthrough. I need this. Because that's what they say. Go and bring 10 bottles of anointing oil. <laughs> Go and bring a candle. We are going to do Come 24. Come and inside the river. Come and bat inside the river. Okay? No, you need to sow a seed. You go and carry your children's school fees. Hey! You're shaking tables right ah, there. As you, the question you ask. You have to sow it. The money you're supposed to use to do something. To, you go and sow it and then you don't get anything back. And you're angry with God. Ooh. You're shaking tables. At, can you feel it, the vibration? <laughs> <laughs> and you're hmm. angry with God. Hmm. Definitely, we need church. We need, we hmm. need our leaders. It's, hmm. it's you know, do not forsake the garden square of the of the saints and all of that. But your personal relationship with God, your your yearning, your heart desire should be His presence. Yeah, your motive. Your, your motive. Desire. It should be His presence. I just want to go and be in His presence. He says He knows your need. Hmm. and a lot of times we need to move from the place of faith is good it's a level to the place of trust hmm. oh god i want to get married by the end of this year if at the end of this year i don't get married am i angry with god am i beat hmm. am i like oh this god thing is not even real hmm. am i like god no problem you're hmm. wiser than I me trust i you. trust hmm. you that you make all things beautiful in hmm. my life hmm. at the right time in its time god doesn't walk with your own chrono chronology yeah it works according to the kairos moment mm. and so it has to start from us because sometimes it is the people that 
Enable I don't want to say empower, mm. right? But that make people leaders mm. to get to this point because it's very easy for power to get into your head. Mm. I know one of my mentors that you can't kneel down for her. Mm. If you are going to your knees, that get, get, get up. Mm. Don't, don't kneel down for me. Don't mm. do it. Mm. It's just me. Because especially in, in our society, because of our culture, mm. we, are, uh, we have a culture of worshipping, mm. res- respect is, you mm. know, is, and it's good. Yeah. Honor, honor, in fact, honor is absolutely necessary. Yeah. Because the anointing you don't honor, you cannot get. Yeah. But when the attention moves from God to, to the, the person. person, there's a problem. Or to object that, oh, mm. if I don't bathe with this water, mm, that was I'm given to me by ax- that was given to me by this one. I will have an accident when I'm traveling tomorrow. Mm. And the truth is, you will have the accident because that's what you believe. It's right? already in your mind. You're empowered. It, it's there, <laughs> and then you say, ah, and they told me, oh, hey, I didn't hmm. anybody. Ah, this person is wow. powerful. He said he saw blood, 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 and then there was an accident. Hey, because he sold something in your mind. Hmm. You took the seed, you brood, you, you were brooding over it, and it will manifest. Hmm. And see, you can also use that in the positive. So right. it is important for people to begin to say, I want to know God for myself. Like the Berean Christians, they went home and they searched the scriptures to hmm. check if these things hmm. that they were told are actually in the Bible because yeah. a lot of Christians are lazy. Yeah, so they don't check. For they, 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 they are lazy. They just tell them this, eh, okay, this is what they said. Eh, hmm. they just Go and study by yourself. Read mm. the word of God mm. by yourself. Sit in God's presence. Let him speak to you by yourself. Right. I say to people that if somebody comes to prophesy something to you, it should corroborate what is already in your spirit. True. So you are working. I've had some people say some things that are like, I just can't fathom. You have, you're working in a bank. You have a good job. Somebody tells you, resign your job. <laughs> God wants you to resign your job and go and do what? Nothing. And you resign your job. Wow. And this person, it's been over 17 years. This person has not recovered. Wow. He resigned the then Diamond Bank. Oh, wow. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. <laughs> wow. So, some things, it should be something that's already springing up in your spirit and God just wanted to confirm it. Meanwhile, other people, the person that gave out the word would have moved on <laughs> with his own whatever, <laughs> anything. Prophecies are supposed to encourage you mm. to give you hope. We're looking for hope. Mm. Right, and sometimes God will give you what is in His hand first of all, to so even attract you to Him. Hmm. Like, okay, take, take. I say, oh, okay, so I can get this, and then, but when you get there and you come to Him, He still wants a relationship, relationship. with you, yeah. and there is, and that's where it starts from. Hmm. And the second thing I will also say, which I've said before, is don't just tolerate negative behavior. Yeah, because if you're tolerating it, you are empowering it. Hmm. Don't participate in it. Mm. Sometimes maybe there's nothing you can do by yourself. Mm. But don't participate in it because somewhere in the Bible says that if you know what is good and you don't do it, it, it is, is a sin. sin. Yeah. So you know that, okay, this is going on, that is going on. And you just say, ah, I'm not DL. <laughs> it's still a sin. You are still part yeah. of it. You are still, you know, how do they say yeah. it? In law, a, 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 an accessory. Yeah, uh, accomplice. Accomplice. Yeah, you know. So it, it's possible for someone who supposedly is ministering, or de- let me say demonstrating. <laughs> In fact, let me demonstrating let me. power mm. to have to be a perpetrator, abuser, <laughs> user. I was, I was just going to, I was just going to. Um, we have two minutes share, anyway. Yeah, just going to quickly share something on that. At a point in time, I was in a very, very confused state hmm. as to what you're saying. Like, okay, power, anointing, you know, charisma, preach, talk, and character of, you know, somebody like that. You know, not corroborating. You know, this person is mean, is wicked, is this, is that, is abusive. But it's this. And I was like, God, I, I don't get, you know, what's going on. And it took me to Matthew 7 where it says, on that day, many will come to me yeah. and they will say, Lord, Lord, we cast out demons in, in your name. name. We did so many mighty miracles in yeah. your name. We did this with and that. He will say to them, depart from me, ye workers, workers of iniquity, iniquity for I never, I never, knew. never knew mm. you. That really got me. It humbled me. I was weak. Like, you never knew them, Lord? What? Mm. Say what? Mm. Never knew them. Mm. That's scary. Mm. Right? But then you will see the, the verse before that, the verse after that says that, but by their fruits, fruits. 
they shall be known. Oh, them. Mm. In fact, this is not my this is not my own original, but I will still use it. It's not by their suits that you will know them. Mm. It's by, by their, their fruits. fruits. Yeah. Because a lot of times the wife posting that a while ago. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe the <laughs> person that said this <laughs> is from you, but I shout out that somebody said I was like, oh, okay, yeah. that's that's cool. You know, because a lot of times that's why I talked about who and what. Mm. The who is the fruits. You know, yeah. so when you say somebody says, Oh, this is me, no, your fruits. Yeah. A mango tree does not have to sit down. So mm. it sorry, I'm jumping. It, some sometimes people ask, Why are you staying there? Because they are the puppet the victim is praying that the perpetrator will change. Mm. Oh Lord, change prayer fasting, nah. you know, change, 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 prayer yeah. confession. Actually. But look, if I have a mango tree. I planted a it's mango tree in my uh, in my house, <laughs> and I come to wow. Peter and say, "Peter, Dams, I have an issue. Please, I want the tree at the, my back garden to produce oranges. Please join me, join join me in faith. Let's agree together." What is the question you're going to ask me? Mm. <laughs> what, what kind of seed did? What did you plant? <laughs> oh, I planted mango, this but I this, want this orange. Is, this is so good. I want orange. You're going to look at me funny, like, duh. It means that once you've had enough cycles to see that this is the fruit it's not like they attach the wrong fruits yeah or that your eyes seen double mm -hmm. you have seen the fruit stop photoshopping the orange into the mango tree mm. stop it stop it just stop it stop it won't work you know i i wrote a white paper saying i remember writing that paper about the genre by the fruits and not, and not by the suits mm. but i know that sometimes you know inspiration comes yeah different yeah. Parts at the same time. yeah and then i remember writing another one saying that once people show you their true color don't increase the saturation <laughs> and the warmth and the vibrancy <laughs> don't edit don't nonsense edit mm -mm. just accept <laughs> it <laughs> accept it <laughs> I'm, I'm clapping to change the lights. All right. Thank you so much for sharing. I really wish we could go on and on. because <laughs> So maybe we're going to do another uh, uh, part two. Maybe your next trip mm. to Nigeria. But this has been really good. And I know that the people want to reach out to you. So mm. Kojala's details are around the screen or on the screen will pop up at different times. So some of you need a private session. Some of you need to uh, unpack on mm. furl, on bundle, on stock, on what? <laughs> What detox does, detox detox the negativity yeah, from your mind because we need to go beyond just getting the information about this to saying okay this is me you're talking about mm. help me and sometimes you might be able to get some light from reading or listening mm. or a conversation or a message or a teaching but many times if you want to go really really deep mm. it has to be one on one you can wash your feet in public, but you don't have your bath in public. Come on. So there are parts of your body you can take care of in the presence of other people. If mm. I want to wash my hands, I don't need privacy like that, right? I just need to be careful. I don't splash on other people. Mm. But if I want some other parts of my body to be clean, I can't do that in public. And so for some of us, what we need is, you know, that deep-seated yeah. intervention that requires the privacy of one-on-one, -on -one, that mm. exclusive thing. So if you need that, this is a highly recommended our soul doctor to help you with your detox therapy sessions counseling and some other aspects of your life coaching as well thank you so much thank you. Thank so you. before we go we're going to play a little exercise very simple it's going to mm -hmm. take about five minutes or less than stay tuned for this are you tired of putting your passion on hold because you don't think it will make you rich it's time for you to change the mindset and start living the life you've always dreamed of. Hi, I'm Damien Olon and I'm here to help you unleash your full potential with the Rich Genius Program. As someone who has found his gifts and turned them into profitable ventures, I know firsthand the power of following your passion. The Rich Genius Program is designed to help you discover your gifts, find your purpose, and make a lot of money from them. With our guidance, you will learn how to turn your passion into a thriving business that will provide you with financial freedom. So why wait? Don't put your passion on hold any longer. Start your journey towards success with the Rich Genius Program today. Join me and become a part of a community of progressive people who are deploying their gifts profitably. Click the learn more button now to get started on your path to success. All right, so this part is the fun part. It's very simple, and I know you're going to ace it. <laughs> the first part, I'm going to ask you to fill in the blanks mm. on an actual white paper post I've written before. 
Oh my god! You're supposed to sort of like think about, think like I think, mm. and then just fill in the words. But this one is very, very simple. You actually get it without thinking. <laughs> okay. So, some people never went to medical school, yet they are great at dash ambitions and doctoring figures. Some people never went to medical school, but they are great at dash ambitions and doctoring figures. What's that dash ambition? Someone has to do with medical school and doctors. <laughs> meds ambition. <laughs> they are great at meds ambitions. No. Some people never went to medical school, yet they are great at dash, dash, dash ambitions. Give me more hints. Pardon? Give me more hints. hints. It has to do with doctors mm -hmm. and hospitals and med medicine and healthcare. What do you do to ambition? This is someone someone has an ambition. You say the person is ambitious. Yeah, but what is the person doing to the ambition? What's the is it the adjective or the verb? Verb, I guess. Ad adjectival verb, I think is what it's called. I don't know. If someone has an ambition, like, I don't want to, I, I can't give you the answer. Well, it's simple. When I say it, you just be like, ah. Okay, wait. Um, if someone is is working on an ambition or has an ambition, we say the person is what? Is, um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Your fans yeah, in the it. studio are trying yeah. to help you. Don't say it. Say it now. Some people never went to medical school, yet they are great at dashing ambitions and doctoring figures. Dashing ambitions. Uh, yeah, dash. Um, uh, should I tell you what it tell is? Tell me another word. <laughs> tell, tell me what it is. Tell the me ans the answer to this one is nursing ambitions as a nurse <laughs> sorry you're, you're feeling hot <laughs> all right this one is mm -hmm. mm. if you don't learn how to hang up you will continue to hang out with people who will leave you with a dash dash if you don't learn how to hang up up. up yeah you will continue to hang out with people who will leave you with a hang again hang dash hang up you will be people who will continue to leave you so if you don't hang up on your phone yes right, you will continue to hang out with people who will leave you with a hang um, well, you will not have credit or you will be disconnected. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but hang, hang what? Okay, it's also, and then you, the last thing is you hang. I, I think your microphone is away from your mouth. If you don't learn how to hang up, you will continue to hang out with people that will leave you with a hang dash. Hang in. Hang down. Hang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, should I tell you? Hang what? up. No, if you don't no, hang I've already used hang up. Okay. If you don't hang know up, how to hang, hang down, up, hang man. Hang, hey, hang man. Just keep trying. Hang, hang up, man. hang down, hang man. Ha it's hang a, it's a preposition. Preposition. Hang. Hang, hang in. Hang. Hang up. Mm -mm. Hang in. I'm giving you a clue though. Hang. Like this. Hang down, hang round, <laughs> <laughs> hang side. No, like this. Like if you say, bent. I jumped over, hang yes, over. Yes. Oh, hang over, hang <laughs> over. Oh my goodness! And I watched that like. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. All right. Oh, sorry about that. All right. So this last one is just very, very simple. You write your own white paper posts. It could either be rhythmical or it could be huh. or witty or wise or simple. Sorry, I'm clapping our light back to the brancle. Oh. 
Right. So, but two words must be there, healing and then soul doctor. So it could be inspirational. It doesn't have to be a rhyme. It can just be inspirational or it could be funny or it could be wise. Or it could be, and this is the last thing we're doing. And you actually literally have mm. one minute, but we can give you extra, an extra minute. And if you know, you write this way, but if okay. you make a mistake, you can, can, please don't let the marker stain your pristine white. So it has to has healing and soul doctor. Yes. Okay. Um, I can just say what I'm <laughs> okay. No, that won't be as that's just a statement. So, um, heal so that okay. Heal so that, oh, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All right, please read to us. Read to us. I said heal so that your soul won't be doctored by people. Simple but direct. Heal so that your soul will not be doctored by people. Because if you don't heal, then people will just come yeah, and we'll just, doctor my, my your mm-hmm. kai. Heal so that you will not be doctored by people thank you so much <laughs> kojala for being here thank we're so great for your time for your patience <laughs> for sharing from your heart and for mm. just unpacking so many things i'm sure somebody is going to learn a lot from we appreciate you mm. listen gentlemen this brings us to the end of this episode don't stop sharing this there are so many people that need things that we share on the podcast and you'll be amazed at what people are going through so ensure mm. that wherever you are you click the like button, you subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and be a part of what is going on as we transform lives in meaningful ways on the White Pop Podcast. Until the next episode, I'm Damilo Toimbo. Keep on living wisdom and keep on growing in grace and strength. See you next week.